We've got a loaded episode of Bears Now by Chat Sports coming at you. I'm Harrison Graham. Matty Rafus announces that Bears starters will play against the Bills. We'll get into that. Caleb Williams struggling a little bit at camp the last couple of days, but a veteran explains why there's no reason to worry as of now. We'll get to some other training camp news and notes. And then subscribe, daily content for free. Show us support here on Chicago Bears Now. We would greatly appreciate it. All right, Caleb's debut, at least for the preseason, is set to take place here on this Saturday, NFL preseason week one, as the Bears will take the Bills on in Buffalo. Matt Eberflus announcing earlier today that Bears starters that are healthy will play a range of plays. I think certain starters will play longer than others, like Cannon Allen. Maybe he's out there for a drive at most if he plays, being a little bit of an older player. Uh, maybe a guy like Roma Dunze plays longer. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, as far as Caleb goes, I would guess two drives. Uh, I'm thinking 10 to 15 plays. So if at least one of the drives gets a couple first downs, I would guess uh, two drives is probably the sweet spot. If there's two three and outs, maybe you get a third drive. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, I think uh, two drives, 10 to 15 plays would be my guess. Uh, for Caleb today. Sean McDermott announced for the Bills, by the way, that Bill starters will play for one quarter. Uh, so, you know, maybe it's something similar where the amount of plays that Flus has in mind for his guys adds up to about a quarter of action. Obviously, a lot of things factor in, how long are drives, et cetera. But uh, I think that's probably what you're looking at uh, for Chicago. And, hey, that's exciting. We get to see the number one overall pick, the guy that a lot of people want to see play, play on Saturday. So if you're excited about Caleb Williams' Bears debut, type CW in the chat because I'm fired up about it. No matter what happens, it's not the best thing ever. It's not the worst thing ever. It's just a preseason game, but uh, doesn't mean you shouldn't be excited. Get those CWs rolling in the comments. All right, speaking of Caleb, are, are he in the offense struggling at training camp? Well, the last couple of days uh, have not been great, according to reports and people uh, at Hallis Hall. Now, it's always a double-edged sword at training camp. Well, if, if the offense is struggling, what does that mean for the defense and vice versa? So I think you always have to take practice with a grain of salt. But for two days in a row, it certainly sounds like uh, the offense has not had their way. Courtney Cronin tweeting this out that the two-minute drill today ended with Jalen Jones picking off Caleb Williams. Defense is down five starters once again and won the two-minute drill on back-to-back -back days. So, you know, that's obviously not the greatest thing you want to hear. Defense is down some guys, still ha uh, getting the better of the offense. Um, Josh Rock added this as well. Broken record alert, really tough day for the offense against the defense down five starters. Uh, Caleb Williams was picked off to end the two-minute period. He was also uh, intercepted by uh, Elijah Hicks in another team period. Clunky, rickety, call it what you want. Look, the defense is clearly ahead of the offense right now. That continues to be the case. Doesn't mean the offense hasn't had moments. Doesn't mean I'm going to sit here and panic. But, yeah, I mean, you'd like to have more days where it's like, whoa, the offense was humming today. Um, you know, it felt like last week the offense had a better week than this week. So, hard to know what to take from that. Uh, it's the ups and downs of having a rookie quarterback. I, you know, I said it after hard knocks on Tuesday night when they kind of outlined that, yeah, it hasn't been perfect. There's been some ups and downs that it's a good reminder that regardless of how excited we are, regardless of how good this kid can be, he is still a rookie. He is still only, what, two weeks into his first training camp? Like, this is very early on in the process of not only this season, but of his career in the NFL. So uh, we got to we gotta keep that word patience in mind, at least to a certain extent. And that's why coming up next, I think there are reasons to sit here and say, hey, it, it's too early to be worried. Doesn't mean it's not something we're monitoring. Like, it doesn't mean I'm going to ignore when there's a bad day and just not talk about it. Because you see on Twitter sometimes when one of these Bears reporters tweets something negative about practice when he or she's just reporting what they're seeing, all the replies are like, just don't tweet when bad things happen. It's like, guys, it's their job to tell you what's happening, what they see. So um, we're going to talk about the good and the bad, but uh, that doesn't mean it's the end of the world or that it's the greatest thing ever. You know, we're just going to uh, kind of dissect this stuff for what it is. And ultimately, uh, Caleb and this whole team will be judged by wins and losses once the season starts. We'll continue ahead with why uh, you shouldn't be worried too much yet. But first, shout out to Game Time for sponsoring Chicago Bears now. Back for another season with us as our ticketing sponsor, and we uh, we love Game Time. We greatly appreciate their support and uh, 
a best way to support Bears Now other than subscribing, all that stuff, is to support our sponsors. And listen, a lot of you guys go to sporting events, concerts, comedy shows, get out of the house and go attend events. you got to get tickets for those. And it's not 1974 where you just uh, call the counter and uh, they, they reserve tickets for you. No, you got to get your tickets online. And the Game Time app makes it really easy for you. So download the app. Uh, create an account and use code chat sports. It's going to get you $20 off your first purchase only. Terms apply. You want to go to Wrigley? You want to go check out the White Sox? They just fired their manager. You want to go check out the Bears next Saturday at Soldier Field in the preseason? Check out Game Time. They specialize in last minute tickets for the lowest price guaranteed. So, you know, if you wake up day of an event and decide you want to go, typically uh, you're going to find some good deals because they're trying to sell those tickets. So, check out Game Time right now. Code Chat Sports gets you $20 off. I've used Game Time on many occasions. I will continue to do so. Concerts, sporting events, comedy shows, and a whole lot more. Prices drop as the event gets closer. Code Chat Sports gets you $20 off your first purchase. Link in the comments and in the description to get started with Game Time today. All right, veteran tight end Mercedes Lewis praised Caleb Williams today after practice, and he's got full belief in Caleb and where the direction of this team is going offensively as we progress closer to the season. Josh Rock again, uh, kind of breaking down a little back and forth with Mercedes Lewis. He says, what gives him confidence the passing game is on track? And Lewis said, simply, Caleb Williams, we got plenty of time. He praised Caleb's leadership, ability to communicate with everyone, uh, and his tough mindset. Quote, he can roll with the punches. He doesn't lack confidence. And that last part, is the most important thing for a quarterback. You got to have confidence. You got to have short term memory. You're never going to play the perfect game. You're never going to have a perfect practice. You're going to make mistakes, but you got to be able to bounce back and make more plays. And Matt Eberflus added this as well. He was asked about Caleb's up and downs today. And he said, Look, we don't run away from adversity, we embrace it. He continued to say that he's happy with where the Bears rookie quarterback is at this point in time, and you continue to see teammates rave about him uh, after practices, his talent, his leadership, and all that stuff. So uh, I think that stuff right now is just as important, if not more so, than the practice field results. And Mercedes Lewis even added, too, like this is the time of year where he, he's trying things out. He, he's making throws that he probably uh, wouldn't necessarily try in a game because he's seeing what he can and can't get away with. So, you know, practice is tough to – you know, evaluate from a standpoint of, you, you know, certain guys are great practice players, aren't great in games, vice versa. I, I used – I've been to a few Cowboys practices. That Prescott early in his career wasn't a great practice player, but he was pretty good in the games. Um, you know, a guy like Sam Darnold, people have always raved about him in practice. It's never translated. So, um, you know, at the end of the day, we're going to judge Caleb by Sundays, and uh, uh, we get to see him on a Saturday uh, to start his preseason career. So uh, that should be fun. Uh, I thought Zach Pearson uh, added a note, too, that uh, kind of gave me a thought as well. He said, they're throwing blitzes at Caleb in practice. That's for sure. And we've heard Flues talk about this, like, hey, we're not holding anything back from this kid. And I kind of like this approach where they're throwing the kitchen sink at him. They're giving him a lot of things to digest with the playbook. They're disguising looks in practice. Like, they're not making it easy for him. And that's smart because you know what? It's hard as hell to play quarterback in the NFL. There's no reason to butter him up. Like, hey, this is how it's going to be, man. <laughs> like, you, we're going we're gonna to build some calluses in practice against a very good defense. That way, when week one against the Titans gets here – that's going to give you the best chance to be ready. So I like how he's handled all this, the responses uh, he continues to give, both in terms of how he's playing and when he gets in front of the media. So I, I guess just a long-winded way of saying, like, I'm excited for Saturday. I know it's just the preseason, and it's not the end of the world either way, uh, how he plays, but curious to see him go up against another opponent in a game setting. And uh, we're going to get to see that for the first time on Saturday in an NFL uniform, and uh, that's a Bears uniform, so that's pretty cool. Are you worried about Caleb Williams? Type Y for yes, type in for no. I'm not worried. We haven't even seen him take a preseason snap yet. It's way too premature to hit the panic button. And listen, a lot of great quarterbacks that have good rookie years, C.J. Stroud last year did not have a great preseason. He was awesome. So uh, keep that in mind when you're watching on Saturday. Guys who did not practice on Thursday, Kyler Gordon. We'll have a note on him in a minute, so stay tuned. He was out. Jaquan Brisker, Nate Davis, note on him as well. Tyreek Stevenson, Montez Sweat, Terrell Smith, Roshan Johnson, uh, and Colin Johnson. Now, 
I kind of wondered, did Ryan Bates get injured? Because late in practice, he was working off to the side uh, with a trainer. Now, Brad Biggs had a follow-up tweet later that uh, he believed he was just getting some weight work in and they were limiting his practice time so he'd be full throttle for Saturday. So we'll see. It seems like he's fine, but uh, I thought that was noteworthy that he was off to the side at the end of practice. Uh, Matt Eberflus provided a Kyler Gordon update and uh, said he's getting closer, but they got to be cautious uh, with the type of injury he has. In other words, it's soft tissue. You know, it's one of those where you don't want to rush him back and have him retweak something. So he's been out over two weeks now. If it's a basic soft tissue injury, usually those are two to four weeks. So maybe he gets back after this game on Saturday and uh, is back on the practice field next week. But uh, plenty of time between now and week one. He's played for two years now, so not overly concerned at this point in time. And uh, last little thing I'll mention, Nate Davis. Uh, I tweeted this out on my Twitter page. Uh, at H. Graham NFL, but he has not practiced the last couple of days, and Matt Eberflus was asked about that, and uh, he basically said that um, they tried to ramp him up earlier in the week, and he f- he felt it again, and so they shut him down. He did confirm that was a soft tissue deal, and that he called him week to week, so who knows what's going on with Nate Davis in terms of his timeline, but uh, if you're the Bears, next man up, you got to keep it rolling. All right, there you have it. Today's training camp news and notes. Lots going on at Hallis Hall leading up to Saturday's game against the Buffalo Bills. So uh, keep it locked in here to this channel. Hit that subscribe button. We will have you covered with all of the latest news, notes, and updates.